everyone, thank you so, so, so much for clicking on this video. The fact that you are willing to sacrifice a few minutes out of your day to consume my content really does mean the world to me. For those of you that are unaware, I review everything that gets released on Netflix. So if you're very curious about a new movie series or show, if you want to know if it's any good or not, come to my channel and I will let you know. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. It would mean the world to me. Today, we are going to be talking about a new Netflix anime. And when I watched the trailer, I thought it was by far one of the weirdest concepts ever. But after having actually watched it and really, really enjoyed it, I have to say, that's what I feel like a lot of movies and shows are missing nowadays. An interesting concept that feels incredibly out there, but is able to actually become entertaining and enjoyable to watch. Now, I know I'm going to get this name wrong, but it is Terme Rome Nove. I know it's wrong. Terme Rome Nove. I know it's wrong. I know it's wrong. I'm very, very sorry. <laughs> but if you've seen the spelling, you'll understand why it's tricky. But ultimately, we follow Lucius, who wants to be a Terme um, architect. And he is, you know, he exists within the Roman Empire back in the day, back in the past. And ultimately, where he gets all of his ideas for these different architectural excellent designs comes from is whenever he seems to enter um, a bath or a terma, he is teleported to Japan in a variety of different locations as well as different time zones and time periods. And so he's able to go into these unique locations and figure out what makes the baths there so unique so he can take those ideas back and build these Roman baths with that innovation. It sounds really dumb. I know it does, but it is incredibly entertaining. And a lot of its enjoyment comes from this unique concept. We have this man, Lucius, who is obsessed with these Roman baths. That's his whole life. He has such a passion for them. He sits there in the bath and like, in classic anime tropes, overthinking everything. Wow, look at this bath. It's powerful, it's beautiful. I can feel the stress coming off of my body. And you can see it's magnificent design. And so that's how his brain works. And it's, it's always exciting and, and interesting when they decide to take something that seems so foreign and, and make it someone's passion. And ultimately, he's able to travel throughout history and take these different unique designs. And I have to say, bathing, bathing or showering isn't something I'm necessarily super passionate about. I mean, I probably shower or bath just as much as the next guy. But um, it was very interesting to watch this series because there is an educational element to it. As much as this show is designed around entertainment, there is education. And you can learn a lot about baths and about showers through the show. And again, because of the entertainment side of it all, and it is actually really entertaining, and there are many scenes that are incredibly, incredibly funny, especially when Lucius interacts with what he calls the flat faces, who... Uh, hopefully I don't get cancelled for saying that, but are the, are the Japanese people because he has, he's never seen a Japanese person before and he doesn't understand the world beyond the confines of the Roman Empire. So he's constantly believing that like Rome is the pinnacle of, you know, human success. But then every time he travels over to Japan, he, he's aware of the fact that actually, even though at the current point in time, Rome might be the militaristic capital of the world, their technology is nothing in comparison to that of these flat faces. And it's actually just incredibly funny. A lot of the, the comedy comes from the miscommunication because, of course, he doesn't speak Japanese and they don't speak ancient Roman, I think is, is the right way to say it. And that's where a lot of the comedy comes from. But also just the differences in how he approaches um, cultural norms. He has no understanding of what's happening. And also he doesn't understand the hierarchy of the world because he just assumes they're all slaves. And so it's him trying to talk to these slaves when they're not slaves, but no one's understanding anything. A lot of the comedy comes from that and it is entertaining and it is a lot of fun to watch. From a more technical point of view, the animation is just that. It's animation, it's serviceable. I wouldn't say it's anything to write home about. It is very, very pretty to look at. You can see that the artists put a lot of work and effort into it. But in regards to other anime, simply because of the style of this show, it's ultimately just a man in baths. There's, there's nothing really to ride home about. There's, it's just the animation is there, the characters are interesting to look at, and it is a lot of fun. Uh, but it's not like a technical marvel by any stretch of the imagination. In regards to the voice acting, that's where I found a lot of fun. Lucius's voice actor is just a lot of fun to, to watch and listen to. He really does a great job of selling 
just how amazing these baths are. So that I had a lot of fun with. But ultimately, this is a very simple, simple story. And I will say that's also maybe where its weakness starts to come in. Because the story becomes very, very repetitive. Lucius has to make a bath. He falls into a body of water, gets traveled back to Japan, and he finds the solution to his problem in Japan, travels back to Rome, and is able to make a bath. That's every single episode. So it does become a little bit tedious, but the fact that you are learning about different types of baths throughout Japanese history, as well as springs, as well as showers, as well as just the different communities and the different um, ways you go about engaging with these bathhouses is really, really interesting. So the educational element is able to keep the show fresh. But yes, guys, this is a very, very weird, very, very unorthodox story, which is based off of a hit manga, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and so I just have to say, once again, Japan is just proving to me that they are great at just coming up with incredibly weird but unique stories that are engaging and you can have a lot of fun watching. But guys, thank you so much for watching this review. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. And I hope to see you again in another review. Hey everyone, thank you so, so, so much for watching that video. I really do appreciate it. If you did and you want to watch more of my content, then quickly subscribe. But I want to let you know about the podcast that I'm busy running over on Zapcast's YouTube channel. If you are a content creator wanting to learn, then check out the ABCs of content creation. And if you are a nerd like me, check out the weekly fundamentals.